She is a true hero, and it is it is so sad uh, to have to be here right now to lay this beautiful young woman to rest, 20 years old. I, I spoke to the deputy spokesperson also of Mata Magen David Adom, who said that she uh, you know, was a volunteer medic in the IDF, and she was at her outpost in the south. She grew up on the Kibbutz Berry, like you mentioned, and she literally was one of the first responses in Nahal-Oz and went into that battle, and she died of gunshot wounds. We're in Savion, which is very far away, obviously from the south. I asked the spokesperson, um, Nadav Matsner, why, why she's being buried here because she did grow up on that kibbutz, and he said that he they believe it's actually going to be a temporary location because the people from these kibbutzes cannot be buried there because it is an active, obviously, uh, military and crime scene, of course. Um, but, but you know, the other questions that people are asking why, if she was killed on October 7th, it's taken so long to have a funeral for her when in Jewish law you're supposed to bury somebody the next day. And he said it's because it's literally taken this long to be able to identify the bodies, that there are hundreds of families in the South right now trying to identify the bodies so they could be given a, a proper burial. Just really shows another reason why she is such a hero that even in the in the height of this terrible tragedy, she knew that she wanted to pen a small note that people would find where she said should she die in this battle, she not only wants to be buried in her Magen David uniform that she was so proud of, but that she wants everyone who comes here to also show up the same in the Magen David uniform that she is so proud of. And it just goes to show the the, the fortitude and, and uh, the courage that she had knowing that that may have been the last moment of her life when she penned that letter.